Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a Christmas wreath from scratch from things that you have in your garden. It's very simple to do and just takes a little bit of time and some patience. There are a couple of bits and pieces that you'll need to do this. Uh, the first is a pair of secateurs, a pair of scissors, some wire cutters, some wire. Now this is uh, a plastic coated wire but you can use just an ordinary wire. This is the kind uh, that you would get for use in the garden for tensioning between two eyelets uh, to support plants on. Um, I've tried using very fine florist wire for this. I find that very fiddly uh, but you could use a fine florist wire too. And the other thing you'll need uh, is lots and lots uh, of elastic bands or rubber bands. See if you can get hold of small ones. Um, these ones are actually probably bigger than I need them to be. So very small ones, uh, even those ones that are used for uh, hair braiding uh, would be ideal. Because I wanted to make this Christmas wreath entirely from things in the garden, uh, I've taken my secateurs outside and I've cut some suitable material. If you haven't got all of these things or you have different things in your garden then use those. To make the wreath base uh, I've used willow. Now this has still got its leaves on it but it's very simple to pull the leaves off if you don't want to use the leaves on it. You can use willow uh, or you can use soft hazel whichever you can get hold of and at this time of year I'm sure people would be very willing uh, to donate a little bit to you uh, if you just ask. You'll need uh, about four to six lengths that are a yard and a half or a meter and a bit long, depending on the size of your wreath. I find it easier to use slightly thinner branches because the thicker ones are really hard to flex. Okay, so I've got my willow and then I have a whole bunch of uh, evergreen materials and those are the best ones to use things that aren't going to wilt uh, really quickly so to make your wreath base uh, you start by taking a length curling it around on itself and at this stage it will be a wonky shape don't worry about that what you want to do is make that circle uh, about about the size that you would like it to be and then twist to make complete circle. Cut yourself a small length of wire. This will help tie it all together uh, very shortly. So that's about five inches in length. That's probably more than I need. So I've got my first one. So where the thicker end was, that's where I'm going to start with the next one with the thicker end and I'm going to twist it in and out and weave it around the existing circle. It's fiddly, <laughs> but it will go. So you're reinforcing the one that you already have. Okay. And now uh, where, they, where they meet, that's where I'm going to start twisting some wire around it to just hold those in place there we go so i think it takes about four or five lengths uh, of willow to make a good circle so i'll continue with that and i just want to show you how simple uh, making this base is so that's where the two joined before. I'm now going to go opposite that uh, for starting this piece and continue to twist it in through the center and around the outside. There is my piece of wire just by coincidence uh, it's at the same pretty much the same space so I'm going to carry on using that piece if I can if you end up uh, <laughs> with the joins nowhere near the original uh, the original ones just use another piece of wire and already you can see this is starting to firm up 
it actually doesn't matter that it's not uh, a completely exact circle uh, that will come uh, as you're covering it I've done that one as I said without the leaves to show you uh, what that looks like if you do it with the leaves uh, you get a really pretty effect so I ran a workshop here last week uh, with a couple of friends uh, and they're going to help me demonstrate how you do the rest of it To cover the wreath base, you need to make several bunches of foliage. We're using a combination of evergreens and some dried flowers. Secure each small bunch together with an elastic band. These wreaths took between 12 and 15 bunches each. Cut a length of wire about as long as your arm and thread it through the base and twist it to secure it. This will help you wire each of the bunches onto your wreath base. So place it flat, you can thread the ends of the bunch into the wreath base a little bit. Hold it securely and then uh, pass the wire around it a couple of times and over it, pulling it really tight to secure it to the base. Then take the next small bunch of foliage and you want to use the leaves to cover up the elastic band or rubber band that you used on the previous bunch wired in. And then again, pass the wire uh, all around the base, securing it tightly. And you can then push the wire through the base through the twisted willow or hazel, just to give it an extra lockdown. And continue around your wreath. If you run out of wire, just cut a new piece and secure that through the base. There's two ways of doing this. You can either go all the way around as Charlotte has done here, in which case your last couple you'll need to tuck underneath the first couple. Uh, to cover up the rubber bands. Or you can do half of your bunches going in one direction and half going in the other, which gives the appearance of very definitely a top and a bottom and two halves to your wreath. If you do that, make one final bunch uh, to sit at the bottom to cover the bottom or use a ribbon. Once you've gone all the way around your wreath, uh, have a look and see if there's any gaps, if there's any bits that you want to add colour to. And if there are small spaces where you want to add colour, uh, you can just wire in some berries or some other foliage. And then have a look on the inside of the wreath and see if there's any gaps where you can see the wreath base and thread through either some foliage or some flowers into those gaps. You can just push them straight into the wreath base and they should stay there quite securely. If not, tuck them into the wire that you've wrapped around your base. 